the greatest tool of Satan is truly our own guilt and our own shame. And I walked underneath that umbrella for eight years. My name is Abby, and this is my story. I was new in a college and didn't know anyone and gravitated towards the first people who showed me attention, really, and those people ended up being the party crowd, and that kind of started my journey in kind of in a downward spiral of seeking approval and attention. I um, started casually going to Life Center just, um, just to kind of feel good about myself. I mean, we would go to church Sunday morning and then spend the rest of the day at a bar watching football, getting drunk. The story that I saw that Life Center one service when I was first starting to come to church there was the story that Brittany Lyons told about how her faith and her trust and, and just belief that Jesus can change hearts and do the impossible. I ended up meeting Brittany about a week later and she invited me to sit with them at church and the rest is history. Um, what followed was youth ministry um, alongside of her for a good portion of that. Whenever I come to Mosaic, I get to be now the big sister or the mentor for these girls that I never had. And, you know, I know that the Lord is using that week after week. I've been serving in Mosaic as a life group leader for almost three years now. I love them all so much, and they have shown and taught me just as much, if not more, about life than I have to them. What an incredible journey it is to see Christ use my messed up past to be a mentor for young girls who don't have that type of figure in their life. I have this life experience that no longer am I kind of muddling under that umbrella of guilt and shame, but now I get the opportunity to share the things that I never got to share with someone when I was in high school. To look back now and see where serving in Mosaic has brought me as a person, I am so humbled.